All right, welcome back to Creative Pro Conversations. I am really pleased to have Marcus Radich from uh, PageProof here with me, and we're going to talk about proofing, proofing specifically from InDesign, although PageProof is a much bigger solution than just InDesign. Uh, so maybe we should just start there. Proofing is important, right? I mean, anybody who works in a team knows that you need to send stuff out and get approval or comments or that whole thing. And we've all been doing this for a bazillion years. We make a PDF and we send it out and then we forget who we sent it to. And then we have to send it to four people and, you know, can't hear from one person. What does page proof do differently that makes our lives happier, smoother, better? <laughs> Fantastic. So thank you first for, uh, for inviting me along. Um, look, page proof, we, are the online proofing tool which people use to gather feedback from their teams and getting all the feedback into one place. I mean, if there's no other great use for it, it's you getting all your feedback in one place. And PageProof can chase people for you, which is uh, which is extremely useful. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can set up some intervals um, that relate to your deadline, and it will go about making sure those people uh, make the effort to come in and give you feedback on your work. So um, that is that is kind of number one. But number two, I think, is that you can do it anywhere and you can do it on any device. So you can pick up a phone, you can pick up a tablet, you know, anything because it's a web-based product. So it makes a huge difference as well. So it's all browser. You're doing it in a browser as opposed to having to get an app or, or having yeah. to use Adobe's technology. You can just do it uh, in, in the browser. And... Mm -hmm. It's not, as I mentioned, it's not just InDesign and it's not, not even just Adobe. That's right. It's ev almost everything. It absolutely is. So, yes, of course, Illustrator, Photoshop, video. So we uh, support, you know, Final Cut Pro um, right through to Adobe Premiere Pro and all of those tools for video. Mm -hmm. But we're getting into things like we've got a lot of customers now putting their Figma prototypes through here. We've got people putting, you know, PowerPoint presentations and Keynote and, you know, the list goes on. We support the whole lot. So anything that a team would create, anything creative, put it through the platform, gather feedback. And uh, that can be inside the Adobe ecosystem. Great. But it's also those other tools that you use as well. And one of them is uh, Canva. Um, we have a lot of people sending proofs directly from Canva integration there. Mm. Um, and then I guess the other thing that we really enable is we're noticing teams are putting in project management tools. So the things like Monday.com, Asana, Airtable, you know, right. ClickUp, right. all of those tools are, are now part of the daily use of a designer or a creative team. So uh, we integrate very heavily with those as well. And uh, it's another conversation, but it's just that we sort of glue it all together into a nice creative workflow. I am so curious. I, I want to ask about that, but but I do want to get to talking about InDesign because, of, as you know, InDesign is my happy place. I spend as much time as I can inside InDesign, and yeah. I love that there's this browser solution. But you know, what can I do inside InDesign? And so I love that you have implemented uh, PageProof into a plugin, into a window, a, pan a panel inside InDesign. So I, I wanted to ask about that a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So with InDesign, we've we've essentially what we've done is we've built a native integration with Adobe InDesign and not only InDesign, also Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, that sort of creative cloud suite. And what we've done is we, we thought very carefully about, you know, do we want to just put page proof in a window sitting there that you can you can see a web browser running inside of InDesign? And the answer to that was no. That's right. not the way to do it. We wanted to build something that was useful for a designer and actually interacted with the InDesign document so that any feedback that was placed on the proof mm -hmm. can, be, can be actually put into the document itself inside of InDesign. So it just means that when you're looking at something and you think, oh, I wouldn't mind that copy to be now inserted into my InDesign document, you press a button and boom, it just puts the copy in for you. Or, hey, there are some attachments to this comment. I just want to place those into those picture boxes. 
click, boom, it just puts them in for you. So these sorts of things mean that you can get some real advantages in terms of your cadence on getting changes sure. done. Should, mm. should we take a look at that? Should we uh, jump over and, and take mm. a look at InDesign? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to start actually inside of PageProof and show you the markup because I think that's a okay. good place, place to start. So here I am. I'm actually inside of PageProof, and you'll see that I've got someone, you know, a team of people have left markup on my proof. So uh, there's comments here, and you can see these comments, and one has an attachment, and there's a bunch of things people want us to do. So that's inside the web browser. That's great. A team has collaborated to build essentially a to-do list for Marcus, the designer, to go in and make the changes in InDesign. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to jump over into InDesign. And you can see here is the PageProof plugin right here. So this is this window that's showing up. And I've done a search for that proof that we were looking at just in the browser a second ago. And you'll notice that all of the comments are listed here inside this plugin. Great. Yeah. So I can click into the first comment, and you'll notice that the markup is now on top of my artwork. The big thing with this is, hey, usually you look at something, and you think, if you do it on a handwritten sort of scribble, it's usually, they want me to do what and where? <laughs> well, this, it's right in front of you. You click on the comment, move the P and make the person smile, and you can see the markup. So okay. um, you can make that change, and there's a checkbox here you'll notice saying done. So once I've made the change, check it off as done, and it takes it off the list. So I don't need to worry about it anymore. Great. Copy changes. So here I have pretty bad, pretty bad spelling up here in the InDesign document and the correct spelling inside of the comment. So all I do here is just make sure that the selection is correct. And then down the bottom of the panel, there's a button. You just click it once, boom, and it makes the copy change into your InDesign document with one click. So that's my copy change done. And that same thing works on an entire block as well. So if I've got a block of copy here, I can just replace text, boom, and it makes the change Great. for me. Mark it off as done. So and, you know, you know, Adobe, some of Adobe's uh, tools, they now have the PDF import and so on into InDesign, mm. and it does some of this. But mm. one of the things that's so great is you have that whole back end that you were talking about. It's not just it's not just sending it out to one person and back and you're getting comments. Mm -hmm. Here, this is really designed to work with a team of people. And I, I love that aspect of it, where you have comments coming from a number of people that you have yes. to manage. You know, if, if it's just you and one other person, yeah, you can always find a, a workaround. But as soon as you have three, five, 10, 20 people working on, get, on sending you comments, page proof is just exponentially smoother. Yeah, absolutely. And and there, there are some other advantages as well. Like, you know, we, we saw inside of the, uh, that we had a comment that had an attachment in it. And, you know, that attachment I might want to put into my design. So I can literally, you can see here, it's saying, hey, there's an attachment in this comment. I can click onto it. It's showing me that it's a red pen. One of the new features here is place. So I can say, hey, let's place that into the document. So I can just save it into my document folder. And then I just click on to where I want it to go, and boom, it puts, there's the attachment, now linked properly into my InDesign document. So that's something you can't do in Acrobat. <laughs> right. I had not seen that before. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And it's super quick. And in fact, if there were multiple attachments there, we actually load the cursor with multiple attachments. So you can go click, 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 and lay them all out on wow. a page. Wow. Very, very cool. Very, wow. very cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What so, else is what else is new? I mean, there's I, I that one of the things that I love about about what you're doing with PageProof is you're you're constantly improving it, not just the back end, but here you've been improving this actual plugin as well. What yeah. else is new in here? I'm curious. Yeah. So one one of the things we actually realized is, hey, sometimes you might get some feedback from somebody, and uh, the feedback may be ambiguous. So how do you ask a question? Mm. Well, again there's now a reply field directly inside of here. So okay. you can reply, you can ask a question of that person and they can answer your question directly inside of here. So now you've got a way, the designer now has a voice to say, hey, that seems not quite right. Are you sure you want it blue? Okay. Um, so you can do that directly inside of here, which is, which is also very, very good to keep things moving along 
uh, and again, something that uh, is not going to be super easy so, to do inside Acrobat. And that'll actually send a message back to the original person. They'll get a notification. Absolutely. Yes, they'll get a notification. They can click and they can answer you back. So within a minute or so, if they're online, you've got, you have your answer. So right. really, really great way of doing that. Nice. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is, hey, what about initiating work from here? So if you want to send a proof, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at my piece of work and I think, this looks great. I'd <laughs> love to send this out. Uh -huh. So I have a button here where you can initiate the proof from directly inside of InDesign. So no need to make PDFs. Great. No need, no need for you to mess around with different files. You just click the button. It pops up these options here so I can look at it and say, yes, I love the name of that proof. Um, you can choose which preset you'd like to use for, um, for generating the proof. You can even put crop marks and bleed on here if you want to as well. So we've taken care of all of that. And then all you do is just click. Uh, page proof will then create the proof for you. And then it pops it up into page proof. And now you can set your settings and out it goes. So, you know, I, I, and I love from here, you can also do all the, all the other things like like the check uh, checklists, like mm. you want so and so you can have preset checklists to hand off and preset groups of people that I need to go to. So I needed to go to these three people. And then after they do it, then it needs to go to this other person for approval. And then it needs yeah. to finally do, you know, such and such, maybe then it needs to go to legal. I love yeah. that all of those steps are built into this framework, mm. and it all can be templatized. So you can do it over and over again really quickly. Yeah, and we actually, um, and on that, we've actually even templatized this entire screen. So we took it a level up. So sometimes you have work that you're doing repetitively all the time. Sure. You want you want a certain workflow, a certain checklist, you want a certain set of tags and all mm -hmm. that. And rather than typing that in every time, all you do is go to the top of the screen and say brand identity project and boom, it sets the entire screen for you. Nice. Um, I want to do a packaging project boom, it just sets the packaging setup for you. So you wow. can templatize this. So I actually did a challenge with somebody and I said, great, you're going to attach a PDF to an email and send it that way. I'm going to go from my InDesign document and press a button with these presets set up. Let's do a race. <laughs> so by the time I had pressed the send proof button in this screen by using the templates, the person was still trying to figure out the name of the email address to put into the right. email. <laughs> right. It's right. much faster, much yeah. faster. Yeah. yeah. So, wow. so these are some of the advantages of, you know, setting up a solution and then from there, the payback in terms of your effort to, to, to actually getting your proofing done just reduces uh, from sending out the proof yeah. through to ma making the changes. So I think it's a, a pretty compelling conversation. Back to InDesign for a second. Are there are there other Ooh. other new things inside of InDesign that we should uh, so, tweaking? Yeah, absolutely. So let me just quickly talk about what is coming into here because of course okay. we're releasing new features all the time. So one thing that's coming, and you'll see in the next release, and it's not here, but I'll just explain what it'll okay. be. We're bringing in filtering and sorting and search into the comments. Oh, good. So good, good. you can say, hey, I just want to see the comments by Marcus, right. or I just want to see the comments that have an attachment. So you can do the filtering that way. So that's coming very, very soon into here. And the same with the proofs as well. So if you happen to have video proofs, or, and you can see on my screen here, I've got a Figma concept. I actually don't want to see that in design. So we're right. going to we're going to smarten that up so it's only showing you the proofs that relate to your InDesign work inside of here. Or if you're an illustrator, only your illustrator work. So this is uh, some of the things that are coming to this plugin very soon. Good. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, both of those things will be very helpful indeed mm. from my perspective. Um, mm. Hey, you mentioned QR codes earlier. I just want to ask what that was about. <laughs> Because I'm I I'm using QR codes all the time now in my in in all kinds of documents and they are a bit of a hassle, uh, no doubt about that. But you know they work and I. How does that fit into your your system here? Yeah, so uh, this comes down to a couple of the additional features that we've been putting in recently to help people um, do their proofing quickly. This is what we're all about: is efficiency. 
And what we've noticed and the market has told us is barcodes and QR codes are really critical. Barcodes, obviously, from a packaging perspective, mm -hmm. and we we have that uh, we have that image of ourselves holding our phone up to our screen, right. trying trying to figure out, yeah, exactly, what does this QR code do? Right. So 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 what we did is we said, hey, you know what? Why don't we build a QR code or barcode scanner into the platform? So under this aptly named tool over here, the Magic Tools. Yeah. Uh, if you click into here there is a barcode QR code scanner built in. You wow. click onto it, it scans the page, and you can see here it's highlighted. There is a QR code. I hover over the QR code. It shows me the destination URL that it's intending to go to nice. or the contents of it. And if you click into it, you can even open that in a new tab and check that that's correct. Uh, or if it's incorrect, just simply create a comment around it. So. This is how we see barcodes and QR codes. It should really be just one click for that. Um, and yeah, the barcodes, it will show you the type of barcode and the contents of it. So wow. you can make sure that's right. Oh yeah. my gosh, that is yeah. great. You know, I love how that that magic menu, <laughs> that little pop up magic menu just keeps getting longer. You keep adding <laughs> new, over the past year, you've added several new things in there and I yeah. haven't seen that one. Uh, mm. Interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it is it is our place where our team gets creative, and we start adding things in that we hear from the market and people like. It would be really really great if we could import comments off a PDF, and we're like, sure, we'll add that feature in, no problem at all. So these sorts of things like barcode scanning, QR code scanning, PDF comment import, we uh, we we absolutely have added into the product. That's actually that's actually a really important one because there are people who do want to keep using Acrobat or for, for adding uh, PDF comments. And we need to get those into your, your workflow here. And so you can now just import those, right? You just write out of the PDF? Yeah, absolutely. So I can go here and on the end of the magic tools, that's where all the cool stuff lives. Um, we've got import comments from PDF. So I right. can simply choose that and then I can drag and drop a file into here Great. that has some markup on it. So um, so for example, if I if I show you this one here, this is a PDF that's got a bunch of markup on it, right? Okay. So that's that's good, but I want to use that in my um, plugin for um, for InDesign, right? Mm -hmm. So what you can do here is you can simply drag and drop that PDF into this window. Uh, we will then go through and import those into PageProof. So we say, sure, let's read those, and we'll pop that markup directly on top. So there, we have it, and it's going to import that and put them on top of the artwork for us. And then we'll have the, those PDF comments will show up in, inside of here. So that would be where those would, would show. I, 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 to the, the, the fact that this is called the magic menu is great, because it really is magic. I mean, you're making yeah. everything just smoother. I know I'm a little bit over effusive about it, but I love it when things get smoother. You know, taking away the friction just mm. makes me really, really happy. And yeah. I really feel like that's what you're doing here um, yeah. is is taking away the friction from this whole crazy approval and commenting process. Um, I'm going to jump out of here. And I just, I, I'm just impressed from because you see the big picture and you're working with with a perspective of designers working in a big in, in a team in a big bigger picture and mm. that is um it's a great thing it's a great mm. great thing for sure absolutely and we're seeing and we see marketing teams you know marketing teams are now composed of you know you've got the digital team you've got the video team you've got the design team you've got you know right. all these people all working together to yeah. get a campaign out so even though the design team are working on something inside of these design tools you've got these people doing using elements of that design over in the digital space and then using elements of that design in the video team. So this just lets you sign all of it off in one place and make sure it's consistent. And it's it's super easy to learn more about PageProof because you can just go to pageproof.com. But I want to put in a plug because you're going to be at Creative Pro Week in Washington, D.C. in July, right? And yes. so if you're interested in PageProof, you want to learn more about the proofing process and you want to get hands-on experience and talk to the masters you could show up there and just talk to marcus directly i that is such, such, gonna be a great opportunity 
Absolutely, we're bringing our team, so there'll be Excellent. there'll be there'll be more Marcuses oh, good. there, <laughs> <laughs> multiple people, and uh, yes, we'll we'll have a stand there. You can come and talk to us, and uh, you know, come along, and uh, I'm sure we'll have our uh, coffee offer there as well for people who want to win a coffee machine. That will be there as well. Excellent, excellent. I like that. There's bonuses. <laughs> Uh, coffee and commenting, you know, the whole process definitely goes together. No doubt about that. Well, listen, Marcus, I really appreciate you taking the time to step us through all of this, to give us some insights into the proofing process and what is new and what is coming uh, very soon to mm. page proof. So, uh, this is, it's exciting and it's really good stuff. Again, taking away the friction, making magic, uh, for designers in teams. Love that. Yes. Fantastic. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, David. Thank you.